Once you open your file, grab the magnifying glass and zoom in so you can get close. Then go get the magnetic lasso tool. Click and start to drag around your object and the magnetic lasso tool will automatically connect points that kind of stick to the side of your object like a magnet. Continue until you get all the way around your subject. You can move in your window by pressing the space bar to give you the hand and move the screen around inside your window so that you can see better as you're using the magnetic lasso. So just hit space bar, it'll get the hand, and then it'll go right back to the magnetic lasso when you let go of the space bar. I'll come back in a minute when I finish going around the entire edge of my subject. Make sure you bring the lasso all the way back to the original starting point to finish your selection. Then you'll see the marching ants and you'll know that your selection has been made. If you need to clean up part of your selection, go get the regular lasso tool. Zoom in so you can get close and see what you're working on. If there's something that you want to remove, make sure you have the regular lasso tool selected and hold down the option key you'll see a little minus sign next to your lasso tool. Then draw around the area you want to remove and it'll remove it from your selection. If there is something you need to add to your selection, you need to hold down the shift key. Then draw around the area you want to add and it'll add it to your selection. Keep removing and adding parts of your selection as needed until you have only your subject selected. Before adding your motion blur, duplicate your layer. Click on the option arrow in the layers window and duplicate that layer making a copy. Label it so you know what you're working on. And then when you're finished with the label, click OK. Now turn off the visibility of the original layer by clicking on the eye icon to the left of the layer in the layers window. Next, go up to the top menu, choose select, and then select inverse. It's going to select the background of your image instead of your subject. From here, you can add the motion blur to your background image. Go to filter, blur, and motion blur. You'll have a preview window so you can see what the blur looks like and it's also going to affect your actual file. Choose an angle that suggests the direction of movement your subject was taking at the time you took the picture. You can also play with the distance to get a different effect. When you're happy with your filter motion blur, click OK. Then you can finalize by saving your file. First check your image resolution and make sure that your image size is a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. You can also change your file size so it's something smaller and is more suitable for your wiki space. Try 5.25 by 7. Then you can go to File, Save for Web, and save out your JPEG graphic that you can then upload to your Wikispaces page. Make sure you label it something unique so another person's image doesn't replace your motion blur.